welcome to Rice and Beans Month. This is the meal that we're going to be sharing uh, during this month as a Lahash community. Very delicious. I haven't tasted but I know it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> So last March, uh, Lahash uh, did what they called Rice and Beans Month, where they ask people in the states to um, give up eating whatever they wanted for a month and just eat rice and beans. And with the money that they saved, um, they could donate it to Lahash to um, support our orphans and vulnerable children that are in the sponsorship program. Since Allah has introduced to some friends about eating rice and beans, it has brought big change in our lives. Seeing is believing. I think you have seen how each of the children look like. That is because of uh, that project. We kept that money purposely for their feeding. That money was enough to provide food for the children. And then the children, instead of eating beans and pasta every day, at least we were able to let them eat rice sometimes with beans, and sometimes meat for them, and sometimes even fresh fish. That project affected us a lot, because even fruit we are now able to buy maybe twice a month. And I thank you very much for Introducing the rice and beans project to some of our friends there. Thank you. Everyone was wondering how can people from America fast for the whole month to eat rice and beans when we heard about it. It was amazing and everyone was like, is it possible? But for sure it, it impacted the life when we saw the result of the money that was collected and we were able to feed all the children that we are serving, we are supporting in the hash and their family. So we ended up being able to buy um, each child a 25 kilo bag of corn flour and um, seven kilos of beans. I just remember that day um, I got to bag all of the beans, um, put them into like separate plastic bags and Laisha and I, I remember like hauling around these huge bags of flour and it was such a fun day watching the women carry the huge bags of flour on their heads and just smile from ear to ear and just how much it impacted the families that they wouldn't have to buy food for an entire month because of people in the states um, sacrificing their, you know, going out to dinner, um, getting pizza, whatever they had to sacrifice um, so that these families could eat for a month. They were so thankful. And I explain, it's not me, but there are some people somewhere who fasted and give money and we were able to buy. So thank God for that. And as a result, these people, they come to the church frequently to say thank you. So they see it that people are caring for them. Just to be able to be a part of something like that was so, so incredible and touching. Um, I just, I wish that every person that had participated in Rice and Beans Month could have been there to see the families and what it did for them because I think that they would do it every year if they could see what joy it brought to people. Yeah,